Uh, welcome to the uh, custom handrail video. Timer started. You know, I got a, I got a piece of I got a house here right here. Okay, and I got this the floor level at zero, and this the floor level is at, at forty eight. I tried doing this with click stairs; it didn't work very well. So I just built a set of stairs right here. How often do you want to build a uh, set of stairs like this, where you have the sidewall going up the side at a certain distance, and then on top of that you want to put a railing? I mean, I, I know some people use piece solids and stuff. I don't like to use that. I like to use I want this wall to be framed, so I make it out of a wall. The only problem with that is, of course, in, in plan view, maybe someone has a better solution. I don't, but I, I get this, I get the wall fill here, and I have to put a piece solid on top of it, and that just actually gives me an excuse to do my hand railing. But now, this is, this is what we want to do. We want to put a, we want to put a handrail on top of this, right? How do we do that? Okay, I, I, I first of all, how did I build these walls? This tab. This wall, you, uh, if I default, it's just a wall. And if I default the top height, it's like this. Well, what I did is an elevation, I dragged it down. That's all I did. I, I, I've been doing that for a while, and it just seems to work out for me. Uh, tom, bump, there's the wall. I just drag it down. What I do is I set up these guidelines, which is just actually W. It's just a uh, W. Why can't I click on the... Oh, I swear to God, man. Do I have to rebuild my... Uh, uh, 3D rebuild 3D, yeah. I had to rebuild 3D. W, yeah. Just draw a line like this, and now I get my slope right. And I pop it up. Uh, just pull this up a certain height, whatever height I want it. Uh, escape, uh, raise it up. I want to raise it up uh, six foot. Okay. Now it's up six foot. That's how I get my heights. Well, bottom line is I wanted this wall right here. This wall that I have right there. I wanted it to be a certain height above the stair railing. I think I made it six inches high. And there's the, my guy line right there. This right here is actually my uh, handrail. That's the handrail that I want to make up, uh, handrail, 36 inches above the stair nosing. So now I need to make that darn thing. Now I know the handrail I want to be is 2 foot 4 inches. From this right here to right there is 2 foot 4. I want to create a 2 foot 4 inch high handrail. How do I do that? Um, this is how I did it. Watch this. I created a ramp. Uh, oh, what's this ramp? Didn't I check, fix this already? You. I get rid of my hand, uh, nulls and balusters. I don't want them on the left or right. And then I'm left with, well, I did, that's weird. Oh, I know where, where it came from. Okay, oh, control Z. Uh, and, and I simply, uh, I, I ran a, delete it. I'll show you what I did. I came over to here and I hit the handrail button and I ran a handrail up that ramp, okay? There it is right there. Well, it's not sloping up, up that ramp yet, is it? So you select the, Select it as a railing. I already know it's a railing. Uh, railing right there. We'll go to rails. Oh, oh God, fix this, please. Follow stairs. There it is right there. That's it right there, right? So, uh, control C. This is my template via ramp plan. Control, control C. Control new. Stick it right here. Control V. Stick it right there. Bump. Uh, do an overview. H. And I, I told you I wanted this railing to be two foot four inches high. You uh, to, uh, uh, want it to be rail height uh, twenty eight inches. Okay. <laughs> I had it fixed a minute ago. You uh, thirty two. There it is. Or. And in my case, I really want it to be, uh, what is it, uh, 28. There. That, that's, that's, that's where I want it, right? I don't need this wall anymore. And a tab. Tab, delete that. Okay, now here's a key. I want to make that a, 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 a whatever, right? Select the ramp. Turn this off. Turn the ramp off. I'm left that, with that wall now. Now I go to tools, symbol, convert to symbol. I don't want to, it's a mill work. I don't want to add it to the uh, library. Uh, okay, so perfect. Perfect, there it is right there. Now all I need to do is go back to my plan right here and tools, symbol, get last symbol, stick it right there. Now I need to just slide it over to here. Let's see where it's at. There it is right there. Raise it up, what, uh, raise it right there, uh, raise it up, uh, you raise it up, I don't know, 12, 16, 16 inches, I guess. There it is. 
I got my I got my guardrail right there, man. Isn't that cool? That's how you make a custom guardrail. It was so simple, so simple. I was doing it a, a more complicated way before. Uh, I think that's is that the simple millwork. Uh, yeah, raise it up uh, another four inches. I don't know, and just get it in the right spot, right? Uh, and drop it down another two inches, minus two. And you can you can double check it in cross section, right? Uh, oh, well, I know what to do here. Boop. Tab, tab. Is that it right there? Yep. Uh, U. Can I fill it up? I don't know. U. Turn up uh, layer. Uh, hmm. Oh, symbols do not cover walls. Walls cover symbols. Ah, that ain't good. Anyway, cancel. Uh, eight to copy. Move it over here. Man, isn't that weird? Delete it. Uh, Control Z. That's weird. Well, tab. Uh, move that over, minus 36, minus 36. There it is right there. See, I don't have, actually, I, I guess I didn't make it in the right. Oh, yeah, that is the right, that is the right height. Just drop it down, uh, you just drop down another inch, minus one. And now it's, whatever, you, you guys can figure it out, right? And, and, that's, and, and, that's, and now you get your handrail right there. Actually, I, I think I want to center my handrail uh, nine right on that wall there. There, see that? That's a symbol. That's a symbol, man. See how easy that was? That was so simple. And now, actually, what I do is uh, F six, F six. I come back over. I come back over here, and I go uh, Shift P. Do this. Boop. Uh, two uh, double double rotate entire polyline. Turn it like this. Convert it to a symbol. Uh, convert it to a P solid. Okay, uh, it's gonna be uh, what five and a half, six inches deep. Yep. Uh huh. And now all I need to do is watch this. Uh, uh, do it this way. Nine. Click there. Pull it down to here. This is the top rail. I'm gonna give it a fill. By the way, you fill solid. Now all I need to do is just uh, string it up here, and I'll have to put another cap on the uh, other wall. I don't know how I don't know how you guys do this, man. I, I, maybe I'm just doing it the wrong way. Uh, F6, there, there it is, right there. Now I now all I have to do is just select this thing and uh, nine centered on that wall, right? Centered on something. Check that out, man. Huh? That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, component. Change it to that material there. <laughs> Piece of cake, guys. Now, of course, now you can get into all sorts of things with uh, your railing. Where's my uh, ramp? Oh, W, H. Oh, uh, stairs and ramps. I turned it off already, right? Well, I don't. I don't, I don't need it on it. I'll just turn it on for the sake of it. So come over here and now. And now you can start doing all sorts of funny things with this thing. Uh, you, I don't. I want it to be um, rails, rail style, panels. You know, start playing around with panels. Uh, boy, this is, this is always so weird. Uh, architectural. Benches and railings, glass. Select this one if you want. Okay, okay. There you go. Now you got. Now you got. Now you can turn this into whatever you want. Wow, that was cool. How much time do I have? Thirty-two seconds. I did that in ten minutes. That's not bad, I guess. And so now I, I you know, it, it change your. You can do all sorts of things with it. That's a quick and easy way to make a symbol for the railing. God darn it, man. It's so easy. And I know what the slope of this ramp was because, uh, just so you know, I went over here and uh, where is it? Oh, I guess I got rid of it. Anyway, I just I figured out what the slope is.
and that's how I how I created that. That's the end. That's a good one. Good one. Ten minutes.